Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg. We have two of our librarians from the Fitchburg Public Library here today to tell us a little bit about the library programs. So I'm really excited to be here. My name is Nick, and this is my first interview on Talking Fitchburg. So hopefully all goes well and really excited to have you both here today. How are we doing? Thank you. We're doing great. Yeah, we're excited <laughs> to be your first interviews. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> well. Tegan, I hear that you have some programs you'd like to tell us about happening at the library. Yeah, so um, up in adult services, we have uh, a program called Stop the Bleed um, coming up, and that's going to be put on by the Fitch Verona EMS. And that'll be April 18th at 6 p.m., and they'll be going over of how to stop um, uncontrolled bleeding in emergency situations, so kind of going over how to treat wounds and things like that. Um, registration is required for this um, class, so if you want to sign up, uh, feel free to contact the library and we'll, we'll get you in. Is there a cost or anything associated with that? Or Nope, it's free, um, so they can just call and sign up. And I know some people ask if they get any kind of certificates or anything like that, and because it is the free program, um, they don't receive that. Um, so if anyone's wondering about that. Okay. Well, those sound like some really good skills to learn in case you ever need them. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. Better to yeah. be prepared. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, and then as always, we have uh, three book clubs going on and each of those are monthly. Um, so we have our Good Yarn Book Club and that is the second Tuesdays of every month at 1130. And then we have our Evening Book Club and that's the second Wednesday of every month. And that ends at 630 p.m. And then we have our Wednesday morning book club, and that's the third Wednesday of every month, and that's at 10 a.m. So kind of a nice variety of different days and times if anyone's trying to squeeze in a book club. They all do a variety of books, some fiction, nonfiction, even a few teen books thrown in. And if they are interested in, in doing that, we have all the books available at the reference desk on the second floor. Uh, so you can just stop in and check out the book for whatever book club you're interested in. Great. Now, I'm sure there's a big difference between different readers and books, but is there a general time commitment that someone should expect for reading these books and going to a book club? You know, really, it's just kind of depends on the speed of the reader and how big the books are. Uh, yeah. So it's it's just going to be reading the the monthly book and then your hour time at the book club of discussing it. So kind of it's going to depend on the reader. Awesome. Well, I'm sure those are a lot of fun. Thanks for yeah. telling us about those. Yeah, thank you. And Minda, you have some programs coming up that you'd like to talk about? Yeah, we also have uh, adult uh, book clubs down in youth services. So they're not just for adults, but the book clubs are for kids too. So we have, uh, we are in a book club and that's for ages five to eight. And that's going to be on April 12th at 6 p.m. And just like with the adult book clubs, you can check the book out at the uh, youth services desk. That book is down there. Um, and then usually there's some kind of craft or a little uh, activity with the book. And then we also have a new book club for some older kids for ages nine to 12. It's called Unbook Club. And that's going to be starting on May 25th at 6 p.m. And with that book club, you're going to uh, choose your own book to read and then bring the book to share. So you don't have a set book that you're reading. And that will, I think it, it's going to be that one will be fun. Yeah. Hmm. And then some of the other programs we have coming up is uh, we always have um, uh, story times during the day on Monday. And then we have story, uh, we have lapsed story time on Tuesdays, but we're going to be having a uh, family pajama story time in the evening. And that's going to be 6 p.m. on April 19th. And that's for ages two to five and their families. So a time for the whole family to come story time. And then one of the teen programs we have coming uh, up is our tween, that's ages 9 to 12, Lego program. And that's at 6 p.m. on April 24th. So that'll be a little a time for some of the older kids to play along. The younger kids also have other times to play with Legos. Sure. That sounds like fun. Do you know what they'll be building? I'm not sure. I don't know if it's going to be like an open challenge uh, or if a, a set challenge it depends on the format. Okay. Yeah. I know that the recreation department does some Lego related 
activities as well. That seems really popular with kids nowadays. Oh yeah. I like to build Legos and I'm an adult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I have to say. <laughs> awesome. Were there any other programs? Go yeah, on. and I have an outreach program that I'd like to highlight. Um, it's going to be coming up in May. It's on May 18th, and it's 11 o'clock in the morning, and it's at the Senior Center. And I call it a, adult story time. Uh, really, it's a time to kind of share picture books as adults. I think we all like to read picture books, and they're fun. And what I'm going to be talk, uh, doing is um, what we called fractured fairy tales, or fairy tales retold. And so we're going to read a traditional fairy tale, and then we're going to read some alternative versions of the fairy tale, which can be a lot of fun. And then we'll kind of do a, a fairy uh, tale inspired uh, craft as well. Very nice. That sounds like a great time. So yeah. what does it involve when there's a retelling? Is it more of a modern setting then for people? It and... can be. The okay. whole, you know, some things that the ending can be different. Um, the person telling the story can be different um, and may, you know, it may not just be the story presented. Maybe it's someone who is uh, retelling the story. So it may be from a different point of view. Um, and some of the elements can be changed a little bit. Usually the whole story is pretty much the same, the whole idea of the theme, but the, the little details change along the way. Okay. That sounds really creative and engaging. I'm sure that Everyone really enjoys going to those. Yeah. So I'm, a, I'm looking forward to that. And did you say this is the first one or is this something that's been going on? For um, it's one of, it's the first one I'm doing this spring. Okay. I've been doing some other outreach programming at the senior center, but this is the first adult story time I will be doing. Great. I think you can always go to um, the library webpage and look at our calendar and see all our calendar events. We also have um, Facebook. You can see our events there. You can also sign up to get our library emails. If you go to the library uh, webpage and uh, use the notify me feature, you can sign up and you can get emails about the events at the library based on your interests and age groups. That's another way you can do it. Great. Thank you. Um, I guess that's all we have for today. Thank you both for coming out and filling us in on what's going on at the library and we look forward to talking with you again in the future. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you.